Hi. We all have heard about Thomas Alva Edison. He has been widely accepted as America's greatest inventor. He had a very little or formal education. Do you know that? Edison was deaf in one ear and hard of hearing in another. Very few people know about this. He himself in an interview published in a newspaper in 1907 said, one day I overheard the teacher tell the inspector that I was adult or confused and that it would not be worthwhile keeping me in school any longer. I was so hurt by this last straw that I burst out crying and went home and told my mother about it. Then I found out what a good thing a good mother is. She came out as my strong defender. Mother love was aroused. Mother pride wounded to the quick. She brought me back to the school and angrily told the teacher that he didn't know what he was talking about that I had more brains than he himself and a lot more talk like that. In fact, she was the most enthusiastic champion of a boy ever had. And I determined right then that I would be worthy of her and show her that her confidence was not misplaced. This is a truly amazing and inspirational course of events that changed Thomas Edison's destiny and helped define who he was and set the path for him to become the greatest genius inventor of America. All this thanks to the love of his amazing mother who took it upon herself to teach her to read, write and so much more. Thomas once said, my mother was making of me Thomas was homeschooled and was taught reading, writing and maths by his mother. I think I can relate to that because my mother has done a lot for me. He has written, Thomas Edison was an adult child by a hero mother became the genius of the century. Most parents of children with disabilities suffer from high level of stress, anxiety and burnout. My parents too have faced that. Many individuals may not be aware of it, which makes the need to speak out about it even greater. Every child is unique and special in their own way. However, certain children may take more time than others. But whenever there are discussions about parents of children with disability, people have preconceived notions that they are sad, depressed, frustrated, and always facing challenges. But nobody applauds them of their strengths and coping up mechanism and how they stand up for their children and make them successful. So we need to support parents of children with disabilities and encourage them, even help them to include their children into the mainstream. 